So anyway, I'll start with uh, one of the oldest instruments around. And this is a Antara from the Nazca culture in Peru. This is a beautiful instrument that hadn't existed for a very long time. The Nazca culture was, I don't know how long, several thousand years ago. And in the archaeological runes, they found these mounds of pieces of these flutes. And the basic idea is, is that when they played them, they played them ritually in ceremony. And then at the end of the ceremony, because they were so sacred, they destroyed them because they could never re replicate or duplicate that experience again with that particular instrument. I promise I won't destroy this after I play. Um, that would be too dramatic. But this is um, a scale and a sound that hadn't been heard for thousands of years until the Archaeological Museum in Peru hired a friend of mine, uh, Alfredo Navarro, to recreate these flutes from the pieces. So this is one of those recreations. And let's see. So I usually play that when I want to work with the ancients, with the ancestors who were primitive in many ways by our standards, but were astoundingly wise in connecting the worlds, connecting the two worlds or the three worlds of the heavens, 
the earth and the underworld. And when you're hearing that, you're hearing an ancient voice interpreted modernly because we don't have any idea how they played them. But you're hearing something that really is from, you know, that time period that we would call the dawn of history, the dawn of civilization, the dawn of human flowering, really. So thank you. We're used to it. We're used to that sound, sound of our mind. So what is it that happens when we experience first silence? Silence is the beginning of all music. Silence is the beginning of all experience. Silence is the beginning of awareness. And can I, can I read a poem? I want to read a Rumi poem. I'll call it a Rumi-ish poem, but it's one of my favorites. And it's called Love Said to Me. So take a deep breath, close your eyes, and kind of really take this in. I worship the moon. Tell me of the soft glow of a candlelight and the sweetness of my moon. Don't talk about sorrow. Tell me of that treasure hidden if it is to you. Then just remain silent. Last night I lost my grip on reality and welcomed insanity. Love saw me and said, I showed up. Wipe your tears and be silent. I said, oh, love, I am frightened, but it's not you. And love said to me, there is nothing, nothing, nothing that is not me. Be silent. I will whisper secrets in your ear, just not yes and be silent. A soul moon appeared in the path of my heart. How precious is this journey. I said, oh love, oh love, what kind of moon is this? And love said to me, this is not for you to question. Be silent. I said, oh love, what kind of face is this I see within me? Angelic or human? And love said to me, this is beyond anything that you know. Be silent, be silent. I said, please reveal this to me. I am dying in anticipation. And love said to me, that is where I want you, always on the edge. Be silent. You dwell in this hall of images and illusions. Leave this house now. And be silent. I said, oh love, tell me this, does the Lord know you are treating me this way? And love said to me, yes, of course I do. Just be totally, completely, absolutely silent. Um, normally when I play, I might play a single instrument for 15 to 30 minutes. So 
I have a minute and a half and then a half a minute for a poem. I'll do my best. Um, so this is all music comes from the breath, really. Don't worry about saving these songs. And if one of our instruments breaks, it doesn't matter. We have fallen into the place where everything is music. The strumming and the flute notes rise into the atmosphere. And even if the whole world's harp should burn up, there will still be hidden instruments playing. So the candle flickers and goes out. We have a piece of flint and a spark. The singing art is sea foams. The graceful movement comes from a pearl somewhere on the ocean floor. Poems reach up like spindrift in the edge of driftwood along the beach, wanting they derive from a slow and powerful root that we can't see. Stop the words now. Open the window in the center of your heart and let spirit fly in and out.